Hans, I've just noticed something. These communists are all cowards. <laughs> Have you looked at our caps recently? Our caps? The badges on our caps. Have you looked at them? What? No. A bit. <laughs> They've got skulls on them. <laughs> Have you noticed that our caps have actually got little pictures of skulls on them? Uh, I don't, so... Uh... Why skulls, though? What? Why skulls? Well, maybe they're the skulls of our enemies. Maybe. But is that how it comes across? I mean, it doesn't say next to the skull, you know, yeah, we killed him, but trust us, this guy was horrid. Well, no, but... I mean, what do skulls make you think of? Death, cannibals, beheading, um, pirates? Pirates are fun! I didn't say we weren't fun, but fun or not, pirates are still the baddies. I just can't think of anything good about a skull. What about pure Aryan skull shape? Even that is more usually depicted with the skin still on. Whereas the Allies... Oh, you haven't been listening to Allied propaganda. Of course they're going to say we're the bad guys. But they didn't get to design our uniforms. <laughs> and their symbols are all, you know, quite nice. Stars, stripes, lions, sickles. What's so good about a sickle? Well, nothing. And obviously, if there's one thing we've learned in the last thousand miles of retreat, is that Russian agriculture is in dire need of mechanisation. <laughs> Tell me about it. But you've got to say, it's better than a skull. I mean, I really can't think of anything worse as a symbol than a skull. A rat's anus? <laughs> yeah, and if we were fighting an army marching under the banner of a rat's anus, I'd probably be a lot less worried, Hans. 